Not just the Spanish, but people across Europe are getting more and more disappointed with their leaders' attempts to deliver solutions. Artistic Sana Boyka talked to one Austrian who's already created his own doomsday survival kit. It seems like a place where the grass is always green and where every cloud has a silver lining. But even in this idyllic setting in Western Austria, there are fears of an economic doomsday. For the last few years, Mikhail has been converting his house into a fully self-sufficient residence, and his reasons are purely economic. The worst-case scenario that we're preparing for is the total collapse of the economy. There would be problems with food, electricity, water supply. So I want to make sure we could wait out this time when money will be worthless. Solar panels, a wind turbine, an emergency generator. He's now producing more than two-thirds of the power he needs. The cows and the garden should provide a backup if supermarkets go empty. And in case of fuel shortages, there is also a ready alternative. While this scenario may seem too apocalyptic, Mikhail believes the euro collapse and the ensuing social upheaval is a matter of when rather than if. Our politicians keep talking about decreasing debts, but what they do is just approve new loans. There are no new steps, no new solutions on what to do about this whole situation. The rude awakening is coming. We all hope to postpone it, but eventually it'll come. Still, he asked us to change his name and not to give out his address, out of concern that in case of the total collapse, his Europe-proof refuge will be inundated by the angry and the hungry. Doomsday fears are not entirely foreign to many Europeans, especially of an older generation. This part of the world used to be right at the forefront of the Cold War, and preparing for the worst was part of the government's contingency plans. But the idea that calamity may come from within Europe rather than outside is relatively new and therefore all the more frightening. After decades of increasing prosperity, the thought of losing basic comforts is still rather hard to take in for many Northern Europeans. But on the other hand, a few years ago, their southern neighbors couldn't imagine that soup kitchens would become so popular in Greece or that food aid would be in such demand in Spain. Some people say, I don't care for the government, I, I'm responsible for myself. Let's say about 50% of the uh, citizen may think in this way, uh, but the majority will say, no, government, we pay our taxes, and so far we expect that uh, we get uh, supplied by the government. While the initial enthusiasm behind the Europe project was at least partially based on the Rex to Riches theme, an increasing number of Europeans are now fearing the opposite transition. Aksana Boyka, RT, reporting from Western Austria.